Hello, everybody. I'm Chris Olds. Uh, this is Rob Springs. We're the Beckett Basketball Gurus. Him much more so than I. That's right. <laughs> we're here to present a classic edition of Box Busters because we're going to rip into a pair of boxes of, or a pair of 2010-11 classics boxes from Panini America. Give me the rundown on this before we rip in. 18 packs, I should have eight cards, four hits, uh, $6 SRP, and... Uh, should be filled with lots of uh, classic legends. Right on. That's the way to do it. The uh, the one thing, the, my first impression was when they sent out the uh, preview information last year was that this thing has a distinctly 60s vibe, at least to me. Um, maybe not this, not, maybe not a 1960s cardboard vibe, but certainly in its aesthetic. Design it's definitely old school. Yeah. Definitely old school. Everything about the packaging, though, is new school. 100 cards in the base set, 40 more uh, legends on top of that, 40 more autograph rookies on top of that. Should be all on cards. And a bunch, rookies. really, yeah. right on. And a bunch of insert sets, so yeah. we're going to tear in here. I really like the design of this stuff, though. It was very, uh, very different. And as you can see from the backs, very bright and vibrant. Sort of like Century Collections released this year, but a little more basketball push. Very colorful. Show you the fronts here real fast. Find one that's of oh, Derek Rose. It's probably a good start. Yeah, he'll probably be on our next basketball cover. Should he might. we hash that out during he the meeting here? He just might be. Yeah. He should be, unless they vanish quickly here. Shot of the dress code insert. Let's see. I do have parallels, as you'd expect, on most of the inserts, the bronze, silver. Here's a uh, not legends card. Silver, gold, and platinum. Sorry. And black. I have a uh, Jack Sigma Legends card number out of 999. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, the fronts are, uh, at least with this one, it's a black and white photograph, which actually doesn't help the color scheme really. It kind of, to me, hurts it a little bit. The back is nice and sonic green and yellow, but the front is really not team oriented there in terms of its color. So that's a little different. But not knowing if they did do all the. Uh the uh, retired guys in black and white, but okay. of course, if they did, then that helps. It makes the sense. Yeah, stand out and know that you uh, right. do have a number. Of retired players. I, I'm already feeling like I'm behind here. Pack two. Very cool. That's a newspaper script. Classic moments insert. Mr. Griffin. Now, one thing on the back of these cards, I just realized, taking a second glance at it, the names on the backs of these cards are huge. Mm -hmm. a little, probably a little too big. You can see that from way back there, pretty easily, can't you? Yeah. I mean, that, that's pretty crazy, but, you know, hey, just a little design. Big card wants. numbers, which are, which are good. Here's done, a done uh, not enough. blast from the past insert. And the backs of these cards are pretty sweet, too. This is pretty much a, a unique design, a new, unique, uh, unique New York. New, unique New York. You, you know you command. need unique New York. Yeah, a little Anchorman mouth warm up there. I should have done that before we got on. But basically, it's a unique design that's not, we haven't seen elsewhere. So. I'll save my blast from the past. There you I go. Showed one, so. I got a mem card, I think, or it's a plug. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. It's a plug. Ready? Bada bing. Dang it. It didn't, it didn't fly. It went, I've never had that happen. It just, it landed. Painful. Almost took out your phone. But a cart or a classic greats, Gary Payton. Another interesting, different design. I'll flip it around here, show the bag. Pretty simple bag. Glove. The glove. On card. On, on card rookie autograph. And most of the guys are numbered out of six ninety nine. There are a few. Short print in the uh, auto rookies, like John Wall. Yep, yep. I have another blast from the past, That's Antoine nice. Jameson. The photo looks a little touched up, kind of for an old school, just slightly. The parallel or just the regular, just the regular version? Yeah. Looks like it's got a little bit of just very slight blurring to it to make it look a little old school. Could just be that photo, I'm not real sure. But. There we go, here's some nice little old school. Classic Pairings. combo card, yeah. Frazier and Reed. It's a nice, nice design. I'm Looks limping nice. already. Looks nice. Ooh, I'll take this one. It's solid. 
It's got a slightly fuzzy corner, but that's because it's on card, but it's numbered out of 99. A significant signatures of a rather significant guy this season, what? Blake Griffin. Mm. Very nice. So it's got a little, fuzzy, <coughs> there's a slightly fuzzy corner on that, you know, the bottom right of the, thing, I guess the bottom right's a little soft just because it's been handled in a box, but I think most people would probably still be happy with that card. Let's see what's in here. It's 8 out of 99, so that's a good card. It's another Legends card. Zo. So. Another monster pack here. I wonder if it's another plug. Rocking some 90s hair there. Mm -hmm. Sweet. I guess it just may depend on the team. Because, see, I like the way it flows on this card. Right? Yeah. So it may be just the combination of the. Well, like the other one, like the, the red and the black, and then with the black and white photo, there's not much color. Then when I saw mm -hmm. the Sonics logo, I was like, that's kind of odd. But yeah, it's all It's cool. Because it helps it stand out from the rest of the box. You know, another blast from the past, Michael Beasley. But I, re I really do like the simplicity of this design. I think the insert cards are probably stronger design than the base set. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's that makes sense. I'll show you another blast from the past. Yeah, there's a lot of them Chris in these Bosch. boxes. I have a David Thompson, Dan Issel classic combos card for all you Denver Nuggets fans from back in the day. Russell Westbrook, Carlos Boozer, Timeless Tributes Parallel, mm -hmm. out of 250. And basically, it looks like it's the same card, except for it's got some extra foil stamping on the bottom of the right front there, bottom. and it's unnumbered. <coughs> and it's silver instead of the copperish looking color. Dress code insert. Another monster pack. It'll be a mem card or a plug. It looks like it's a plug. Kobe Bryant. Now the, the photo, the design of the fronts makes the photos, uh, makes them pretty consistent. You're not going to see a lot of different variety in the images on the fronts of these cards. Which is, a, you know, it's a positive, but I think once you, if you start busting a lot of this in quantity, it could wear you out. But uh, to, to build the set, it's, it's not bad at all. Oops, fumble. I'm going to skip another blast from the past. How about a LeBron James? Oops. And here's an insert of dress code. Wall dang. Dang it. Wall dang. Membership. Jersey color. It has its privileges. Mike Bibby. Bibby. $4.99. And another dress code. Lots of pluggage. I'm trying to so you do for something. I should be. Only one autograph so far, and I'm over halfway through the box. Oh, there we go. How about a Mo Williams just to show him off? A little roll tight action there. Here's my mem card, the, my first mem card here, a uh, Yao Ming membership. Uh, I like the I like that the main logo. It's very simple. Out of four ninety nine, actually, it looks like it's a prime, but it's not listed as one. So very simple design, but it's cool. I like it. Lots of bright color, different typography, just mixing it up. Timeless tribute, silver. Dwight Howard. Ah, these wrappers are a little rough on me this morning. They're not warmed up. Unique New York. New, unique New York. You know you need it. Another timeless uh, tributes insert. Brandon Wah. Or Roy, however you like mm. to say it. Depends on the sport. Yeah, exactly. if he plays hockey or not. I'll go, I'm going to defer to hockey just for, you know, history's sake. If it's wrong in this guy's case, that's okay. I'm all right. Another oh, chief is. Classic grades. I don't know if we've had one of those in search yet. Um, maybe. I, I don't know. I I just I tend to get in a ramble mode, you know, where I quote things like Anchorman and look at my cards and show off the insert. And <coughs> my memory goes out the window, mm. right? Dress code, Dwight Howard. 
and I, I'm, I'm pandering to some critics out there who say I show too many of the base cards. That's, mm. That means you, David Lee. Here's a uh, parallel of the classic greats we just showed. Walter Berry. So I really do like the color when you go through these cards. I mean, check out that spectrum of base cards there. It is very, uh, very you colorful. Don't, at least in a Panini brand, normally it's like foil board, silver kind of That's stuff. True. You, know, you don't get a lot of that, so. Get my sword. Another way to organize by the That's color true. wheel. That's true. I used to, when I, back on the old school days of Pro Set, I used to sort by color, then mm -hmm. by team. So Thomas Tribute Gold. There you go. That's right of 100. Steph Curry. What a classic moments insert card. Havlicek steals it. A little tough to read that foil stamping in the bottom there, but otherwise it's cool. I got three, four packs left and supposedly two hits. Got the tribute to Monet. Time, let's roll here. Silver, Nene. Nene. I like to say it, Nene, as a tribute to what's that movie, Caddyshack. Jeremy Lin, Golden State Warriors rookie, on card autograph out of six ninety nine, free agent from Harvard. Harvard. So I got three packs, one hit to go. Mem card. Timmy. Timmy. Speaking of David Lee, I'll have to show that base card off, right? It's yeah, David Lee. It's David Lee himself. Yeah. <laughs> but speaking of Durant, you called it same hand, next bottom half of the pack, right? All right. Matthew McConaughey Keeps me happy to. All right. My fourth hit. Here, just for the record, an Alabama Crimson Tide. There we go. Joe Wallace. Last two packs at two hits, so here's another. Look at that. Patrick Patterson, on card rookie, Otto. Very nice. I like the, uh, like the rookie. I like the rookie auto design. Yeah, it is. It's clean. It it, you know, it easily could have been a sticker, but it looks good. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, either way, sticker clear stickers, if they're well-designed cards, don't really offend me. That looks good, though. Right. How about a Raymond Felton Timeless Tributes out of 100? And my final pack will also have a hit. So here we go. You're calling it out. I'm calling my shot. And it's, it's thick, so it's definitely a mem card. How about a dress code number that at 199, Brandon Jennings jersey card. One of last year's top rookies, and I got one of last this year's top rookies who was drafted last year. How's mm -hmm. that for confusing mm -hmm. tie together? So all in all, uh, you know, this is this is a brand that it's been around for a long time in the uh, Donruss Panini portfolio. But to me, this is really it really stands out as something very different. Yeah, but I mean you got a hit in every in every path, whether it was an insert mm -hmm. or, or auto mem, and uh, on card on card autographs across I mean, the board. Been, yeah. Lots of color, <clears throat> lots of old school and new school. Whether it's the aesthetic or the player selection, so that looks like it's a uh, thumbs up for me. Absolutely. 2010-11 nice, nice Panini Classics. So.